Welcome back guys, this is the Iprex OC Takeover Season 3 Grand Final here at the Iprex headquarters and I'm with the winner of this awesome competition, Lucky Noob. Congratulations, Thanks. you finally won uh, a good competition for the past few years. You have yeah. been battling at the top for uh, most of the live competitions. You finally won it with good cash prize. How do you feel? Well, uh, relief, that should be the word. Yeah, because you know, yesterday XA, you know, extra medic is like owning everything, and uh, you know, the point difference was like so high, and I was like, okay, let's just do well and uh, finish at second or third place. But you know, being a kind of a like runner up specialist is not really, you know, what I'm aiming for. But finally, you know, in an unexpected turn of events, you see those other people like. Dr. Wees and then Nacho actually submit their card and there's awesome score and suddenly XA's graphic cards cannot, you know, cannot clock that well and he has so many so many problems and I was like, really? Is this happening? <laughs> and I saw the, the and I saw the scoreboard. Okay. <laughs> that one's nice. And well, it just happened. So was actually really lucky to to you know be the first place because you see the point difference between me and extra medic at the before it's really uh really high but that was actually insane to 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 see you battling all all day long so yesterday yeah. well let's go through the different stage that uh that uh, that that went that you had to went through it um stage one you were actually second battling with extreme addict as well yeah. uh, what was your strategy right there because uh the the stage one was really uh basically so straightforward you set the the memory and um if you have a good IMCs, then you could, uh, you know, clock the memory that high. And the problem is the booting one because usually, uh, if you want to get a high memory clock, then uh, usually you boot really high, like four thousand or more, and then uh, you clock it from the, you know, like the command center light or the other other utilities in the in the OS. And uh, I've managed to get the uh, four one thirty three divider working. Some people have some problems uh, with that, and apparently my memory is working. But uh, I'm giving it really like really high voltage. I was trying like two volts, two point two, and that's really high. And uh, everybody else was saying, "Hey, you are going to kill your memory." I was like, "I don't care. I have to." Uh, they give us like spare sets. Oh yeah, spare set on, yeah. the, on the memory. Okay, yeah. so and that that does help. And and the the in the preparation time was really good because usually uh, we only have like yeah really short preparation time but yesterday preparation time was really uh, long so i could prepare well for the memory clock stage perfect so that was good and uh, that that was fun because you were battling at the top on the three stages yeah and it was actually quite intense especially yesterday when you did battle with x on the memory maximum memory frequency but as well on the xtu score because uh, yeah. you guys were at the same like 1584 yeah. uh, mark yeah, yeah, for yeah. quite some times until one of the uh, actually I think that was uh, extramatic posting the 1586 uh, point yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so how did you feel at that point where like damn I need really yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to make it more actually uh, the XTU stage was uh, it's about how fast you get the, the maximum efficiency because you see there will be a same score it's always like that in XTU, whether it's live or online competition. There's always be a, somebody who actually got same score. So what you need to do is you need to uh, figure out the, the maximum efficiency of your system, the memory, usually. Yeah, something like that. Too. That, that, that was crazy. Um, were you like, I will try until I get more rerun? Yeah, yeah rerun, rerun, rerun. I, I had like times. half an hour rerun, I think. Half an hour, yeah. And you never managed to get better. Never than managed to get better efficiency. I get uh, eighteen, uh, fifteen eighty four, but uh, the first one is a five o one. The I've, I'm over the clock speed limit, so I need to rerun, and that's really stressful. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was funny as well because Hassan was just next to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you guys exchange? Uh, during the competitions? Well, or? we did speak a lot, you know, uh, and then uh, when I saw his memory set, I was like, okay, I'm going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Were and you he giving did. him like false information? To nah, <laughs> nah, 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 we won't do that, I won't do that. <laughs> that yeah. was insane. And talking about the last stage today, uh, this was crazy because that was once again you against Asan, and on the other side there was Dr. Weez yeah. <laughs> putting out some massive <laughs> scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Dr. Weez has a really good uh, memory control on the GPU and also very good memory. 
and um, I'm, I cannot manage to get my GPU, uh, the GPU clock, my GPU clock is fine, but my, my memory on the GPU is not so good. You, were, can, you were actually in the top five, the yeah. one that have the lowest uh, memory frequency. Yeah, 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 frequency, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. 1970 something. Yeah, yeah, 19, actually it's 19. 19. Oh, it was 1900. 1900, uh, yeah. It should be 1900. Uh, let's get back to the score directly. And there. Uh, 19, yeah, 1925. Yeah, yeah 1925. Yep. So that y you had a very low, uh, like, uh, Dr. Wiz like 20, uh, 20 yeah, 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 70 yeah. or 20 That's 50 really good something. memory. Yeah. And you have, uh, I have so many problems with the temperatures because uh, at like minus, uh, it's like minus 90, uh, the minus 95, the car has come some kind of like cold slow or something. Maybe it's, uh, uh, and I have to, you know, heat up my backside because, yeah. That, that was actually a question from the live chat yeah, from yeah. Um, Iwat Moto Suze. Um, what, what was special and why did you decide to, to use the heat gun on the, on the side of the car? I of the had card? to. That's the, uh, because you know, when I was hitting like minus 90 or minus 95, suddenly my cart like, you know, just, you know, completely, you know, uh, kicked out from the benchmark, kicked out from the benchmark, kicked out from the benchmark over and over, over and again. And I, you know, I feel the PCB in the backside. I was like, okay, this is uh, really cold. And I heat it up a bit. And then the, the suddenly I could uh, run the benchmark again. So that's why I, I hit the backside of my, because sometimes the memory got too cold. And um, you have to be heat up the backside, but it's really, really difficult because you know, uh, at, at one hand you have to, you know, pour the pour the Allen tubes, and at your right hand you have to, you know, manage the temperature. And the heat gun was really not that powerful. But so so that's why you were actually shaking with your hand quite a few times. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, live yeah, show. yeah, 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 yeah. So um, after this tight battle on stage three, um, when you saw Doctor Wiz posting a huge score, <laughs> did you say there's no way I can get it, or you always try to improve yours at least? No, 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 no. Actually, I get a really good GT1. Uh, it's at like 89 FPS or something. So the first part of the yeah graphic yeah the test. graphic test one yeah. Uh, if I manage to get the graphic test two, I should be able to be a really close to Doctor Wiz, but not over him. Probably like 18, 18, 100 or something. But I didn't manage to get the, uh, the score running. And when I was about to give up, then I, I saw other people putting up really good scores, Hazan and uh, Nacho. I was like, okay. And I saw that the difference between me and actually Madik was really high. So yeah, <laughs> that's happened. That, that, that was it, the, the, the point difference between um, you and Dr. Wiz were quite huge, while the difference between you and Hazan yeah. was like 60 points. Actually, like Hazan, yeah, points. was trying to catch up to me as well, because if he's second, I think he, he would be a second place. Yeah, if, that, he, if that, he beat me that in that one. So yeah. yeah. And um, what do you think did um, um, hold, hold on Extreme Addict to, to have a better score than that and maybe be fifth, and that would be maybe a bit different on the final ranking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, maybe, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking maybe he has so much problem, so much problem with the, the GPU and the, and, the, and the system and somehow, you know, that's the problem with overclocking competition. You, you absolutely have no margin of error. That's actually the, the most stressful thing about the live competition. You like have no, uh, mar uh, no errors. You, you really have to do it like perfect from the beginning. And when you just an error, and then you cannot figure it out, figure that out, and then, yeah, you could get a lot of problem. Yep. Uh, there was a question as well on the live chat. How long did you prepare before? And we did talk the, a lot about that on the on a few videos. Usually, how long do you prepare for a competition like this uh, at home? Uh, it should be normally like a, a full week of testing. That's the ideal. Uh, you know, I've been doing competition for about like four or five years, and then. Usually the, the the optimum amount is about a full week of pre-testing. You know, you uh, you figure out what uh, what will be happening and 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 some stuff like troubleshooting some stuff. Uh, and but the problem is I didn't have enough time to prepare for this competition because you know I was in the previous competition the GOC and then the OCT and and, and and I have my own local competition to manage the AOCT and uh, in total maybe uh, preparation for this event probably less than three days. I was kind of really, really want to prepare more because, you know, this is the competition in the US. This is my first time in the US, actually. And I want to do, you know, I want to do better because I want to represent Indonesian overclocker. But well, so far, so good. Well, you well, guys did actually smash the top, uh, the top yeah, rankings. Yeah, yeah. In the top three, we have two Indonesian guys. So that's actually a very good representation. You managed to be first at this competition as well. Yeah. 
this is a, a very nice achievement. I think we will yeah, all yeah, celebrate yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my friends all in the WhatsApp was like really happy with the result. I was like, okay, thanks for the, yeah, thanks for cheering me up, guys. Because uh, the previous day I was like, ah, oh, damn, cannot beat XA, cannot beat XA. <laughs> <laughs> because in actual medic has, uh, if he won this, then he he is the first uh, overclocker to win an overclocking competition three times in a row. Indeed, like, that's, that, that, that that's would have impressive. been crazy. That yeah. would have been crazy. <laughs> but he still managed to be second in there, so that's a yeah. extremely great uh, position yep. as well. And uh, we all want to uh, to to but actually congratulate you and the Thank other you. guys for yeah. uh, for making this. Uh, this uh, live competitions are uh, very interesting to comment on. As uh, well. yeah. That was a very nice battle. And uh, thank you for your time, Lucky Noob. Uh, Thanks. We're going to be right back at the award ceremony in the next few minutes, just by the time that uh, Lucky Noob and uh, myself, we go on the other room. And this will be presented by myself and mostly by Mr. Peter uh, Massman from HWBot. Um, congratulations again. Thank you. See you guys in the next few minutes for the uh, final award ceremony here at the IPREX OC Takeover Season 3 Grand Final.